Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Danny's Life and Travel and today we're looking at Windows 10 and you know how to fix the problem where you're st stuck in the loop, the continuous boot loop where it tries to boot up but it can't um, load up Windows and then it keeps booting again and again. So if you're stuck in the screen with the uh, um, Windows uh, logo with the blue Windows logo and it keeps on loading or if you're stuck in the screen where it says preparing automatic repair um, and it's not progressing beyond that um, you know it, it doesn't load up Windows then this is for you yeah, this this video will help you to fix that problem okay so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna open up my computer and show you um, how to fix that and then I'll go on to uh, the computer itself and all the settings and how you have to change them in order to resolve this problem okay guys um, let's get on with it okay guys here we go so how did I fix the problem um, I, I tried to think of different ways of how I can fix it and eventually I, I realized that it could be a problem with the SRT or um, you know the smart response technology um, part of it or the rapid storage uh, technology part of it and if you do see in, uh, in on your computer screen, you'll see the icon for it in the bottom right-hand corner. It, it does say not running. Uh, you'll have that problem, um, and this this fixes it. So what I did was, I have here. Let me just get to it. I have my mechanical drive, which is that one. That's my mechanical drive, and then I have uh, a solid-state drive. That's that one. So I have two of them um, plugged in. So what happens is it uses the the SSD as a cache to make the mechanical drive super fast okay so because that's not running it's stuck so what I did was I disconnected the solid state drive this one and then I rebooted the computer okay and I will show you what to do next um, on the computer okay guys I'm gonna disconnect the solid state drive now the hard drive um, just to show you guys how it works so it's just that it's just the the connection point you don't have to disconnect all the power supply and all the rest of it it's just that so these are that one and that one they're for the, the data for the information so just disconnect the one for the solid state drive only that's all you need to do okay onto the computer so right guys I've just turned on my computer so it should now boot up and it asked me to press control and I so so there you go so once you press control and I you get into this so it tells you here now it says name of disk port this is my is 500 gigabytes roughly um, that's my mechanical drive and you can see here that there's no um, SSD there's no SSD drive. So it says the cache device associated with the accelerated disk volume is not present. Type R to remove the disk volume um, acceleration or D to disable the acceleration disk. Yeah. So here you're going to press R. So if you press R here then it will remove it. Yeah. I'm not going to do that because I don't need to do it. Um, uh, so that's what you got to do. Once you press R it will remove it and then you just restart your computer and it should work fine so um, I'll I'll just reconnect my hard drive my SSD and then I'll, turn, I'll boot up to Windows and I'll show you the rest okay okay guys so once you've um, turned on your, your computer again and it's loaded Windows you're at the desktop and then you can see at the bottom here if I can show you right here should be which it is not I don't know what the hell happened to that oh, hold on okay guys I had a bit of a technical problem because I disconnected the hard drive it wasn't showing up here so uh, now you can see it's there all I had to do is I went into um, the start menu and then where's it gone it's all applications there and then down to I 
and then there's Intel there and then you've got rapid storage and you can start it up from there just double click that and it, it comes up and then it opens it up and then it then it just loads it up in the in the tree as well so basically when when you when you have this problem in the first place what you'll have is you'll have you'll have the same kind of thing right there so you'll have the little blue uh, circle and it's loading and loading and it, and if you click on it it'll say uh, not running um, but now you can see if I go into it it says the your system your system is functioning normally so um, so it's it's fine you know it's working fine and you can see there now I have the 56 gigabyte as a cache and then you have uh, the SATA drive which is the 500 gigabytes and that's accelerated so um, if you do performance I think it's performance um, so anyway, it's done. I was going to show you where it's accelerated, but it's not. I can't seem to see that. Um, yeah, so it's here. So it says um, acceleration mode maximum. Yeah, so it's accelerated. So it's, it's done. Okay, so so I, what I would do, what I would say to you is you go, uh, you find uh, the program, you go to um, File Explorer, um, and then what we're trying to do is we're trying to get into the it's not even here is it sorry my bad so it's settings you go to settings and then you go to uh, you're trying to find the actual f file the actual program so let me see where is it gone under the update recovery uh, to be honest I'm new to this as well it's um, uh, yeah so these are these are all the apps we have. So what we're doing is you you keep looking through these and you find the Intel Rapid Storage um, uh, technology um, app and then you you delete that. You uninstall it basically. So if I go on to here, it says uninstall. So any one on any one of them. So you've got to find the one for the Intel Rapid Storage technology. Um, I don't know if I can find it on here, but Anyway, once you found it, you just uninstall it, and then um, from there you go to the um, uh, the Intel website, and then download it again. So just type in Rapid Storage Technology and um, RST uh, for for Windows, and it'll it'll give you an option to download, and you just download the latest one from there, and um, that's it. Once you have that loaded up. Um, so once you have that loaded up then it should work fine after that so that's how you fix that problem um, I hope this video helped you guys I hope you found it helpful um, and if you have any questions if you if you're struggling or if you have any problems or if you have any questions just um, leave me a comment or um, you know just email me if you, if you can I think the email address is on there on the video as well and uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can and help you out. Okay guys, take care. Bye-bye.